Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, the Juice of the Future Butch Pod, Department of Inhaled Vapors. Now, um, last weekend was Vapor Expo, and um, I've come back with loads of little bits and bobs and goodies that I want to show you over the next few reviews. Um, we've got the brand new range from the utterly bonkers Russians um, from YoSkillsLab.com. Is their new lab, new um, range? This is the Bratishka range. Um, you may remember this company. I did a review on my um, the good, the bad, and the what the f one. Um, that was that one. They are horrid shit. <laughs> Which, although highly offensive to any Orientals, I did find kind of funny, and the juice was good. Um, they've come back with a new range, which is this Bratishka range, and um, yeah, the offence levels keeping up there. <laughs> And I'll have to admit, I do still find it funny. Um, they gave, this I got from Vapor Expo. Uh, I've got the whole range of them to show you in a future one. Um, also, their antisocial juice, which, believe me, yes, we're still keeping the offence up. <laughs> and last but not least, a truly original juice. I've generally never, ever tasted anything like this. It's bizarre, but I do kind of like it woody from their skills range that's one of the ones we've got coming up uh, we've got three more from el diablo um i did a review for them on the last two that i purchased from vape jam they were really really good so i purchased three more so i'll continue doing the review on them uh we have got the tropical lemonade from the lemonade stand we've got three from xeo which they were doing at a bargain price at the actual expo uh, we've got a couple from Vape Wild. Uh, did actually have all seven of them at um, Jam. Don't know what happened to them. I did go through some of them, but I don't know what actually happened to them. So um, they've given me another couple there, which I will do. that come in the pack. Uh, we've got one from Inca Empire. By the Sandra is a black current something, which would be an interesting one. Uh, also got the new one, of course, from Rod Squad. Do a little little review on that. And there's a couple of other things that we're going to be doing reviews on as well. But today I want to concentrate on the new line from Devil's Juice. Now I did a review back on the first line that Devil's Juice did. Uh, their Vapor's Unite range. Um, this is now available in 3 times 10 mil TPD compliant bottles and range and everything's meeting the standards so this now should be winged its way across Europe and should be easier to find. I like the first range, the ones I want to show you today is their blackout range, this is the brand new ones. Uh, have got a state of the record, all juices you see today are a zero milligram hence the bottle size. Obviously the TBD compliant ones will be it when they've got nick in. Um, also got a state of the record, um, all views and opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I have not been paid to do this review. I have not paid for the product. The product was sent to me for review purposes only. Also state, since I'm doing a zero, this is this does not fall under the TPD TRPR umbrella. It's got no nicotine in it whatsoever. Also got to state for the record, individual taste setups and power preferences will alter what you get from a juice. I can only tell you what I'm getting myself. Now, my weapon of choice today will be the RX200S, and that's got the Maca Dripper dual core to 0 0.19. Let's move on to the bottles. All right, there's five in the range, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this review into two. There's going to be three in the first, and obviously two in the second. But I'll admit, actual label design, I kind of like them. It's a, it's a say, there's uh, one to five. Uh, on here we have the warning ingredients who was manufactured by their physical address uh, the actual ratio is on there as you can see this is a pg40 vg60 blend underneath that you've got what the strengths are and you've got all the warning symbols underneath it made in malaysia it's got an ec number you've got the batch number on it and as well as the expiry date and they're giving this a year on here, saying April 2018. So, all the information for a product that's got zero nick is on there and I'm more than happy with. 
What amuses me is it's obviously this bottle will be sold outside of Europe with nicotine in it because they can have bigger bottles. So it's still got the warning, a chemical known to cause cancer, birth defects and other reproductive harm. Doesn't say which chemical. So I might have to put just nicotine is a chemical known to cause. Which it isn't. It's balls. It's absolute bollocks. It's Prop 65 from the States that's just invaded everywhere. It's a load of old cob's wallop. Uh, not for sale to minors, correct. Keep away from children and pets. This product may contain nicotine. So that's why they've, they've just got the little one where they can just mark it off on there. What the nicotine level actually is. And as industry standard, child proof lid. Now the first one I'll be doing today will be the Apple King. Now Apple, as I've said probably too many times now, is always a bit of a funny one with me. Some of them are really good, some of them don't cause irritation. Other flavours, I don't know, it just depends on the brand of flavour and they've used. Some of them really do catch in my throat and make me cough like a mother. I have that problem with a couple of with caramels as well. Some caramels, especially the DX caramel. That really makes me, <clears throat> it really irritates that, it's that burnt caramel flavour and they put in it. Other caramels I'm fine with, just like this. Some apple ones I'm really good with, other ones I just go, oh, oh fruit here, oh, really rough, don't feel like this, chuck it in the bin. But anyway, we shall move on to this one. One thing I do want to state, um, childproof lids. Yeah. Um, these are a bit of a pitter to get off. They are a bit of a pain in the ass to actually get the lids off. I have got in contact with the guys at Devil's Juice about the lid problem. And they went and said, yeah, we're, we're fine that as well. They are currently, they've assured me they are currently sourcing better bottles. So that should be a, a smoother operation. But it's good to see they're taking on board and they are trying to make the product better. Anyway, Apple King. I'd be fair, you'd smell. You'd smell the apple. Cool. There's a lot of apple in this. Here we go. Right, I'm going to start at 72.1 watts, which is 3.7 volts, basically what your average ego pen would pump over. Here we go. No throat hit, thank goodness it's an apple I can get on with. Actually, I'll say there's two apples in this. Because you kind of get a different... Kind of get quite a nice juicy apple to start off with. And then you kind of get this little sharper apple on the way out. There's a very slight... Actually, that is a brilliant apple. That one on the exhale is more of a red apple. I'd probably say it's a green apple going in and a red apple coming out. That's nice. Vapor production is fine. It's absolutely, it's, it's really quite good for, for since it's a 60. I mean, not, most of the stuff I normally do is 70, 80% VG. This is 60. But the taste of the apple really does last in the back. It's a very nice, and, and that, that subtle change when you go from green to red. Inhale is green, exhale is red. That's rather, rather yummy. As I say, as a general rule, I always get a little bit nervous about Apple ones, but that's quite nice. Right, I'm going to go up to 84.2 watts. There's no 4 volts. Oh. Oh. It is such a mouth-watering apple. Both of them. They've come together a little bit more. There's more of a mixture now during like the mid. Just as you go to start the exhale, you can't get a mixture of red and green, and then that red comes straight out at the end. 
very mouth watering. It affects all the back area of the tongue on well, the taste buds there. Mm. Mm. I'm going to try this at 4.2 because this does seem to like the power. Right, we're up to 93 watts or 4.2 volts, basically your full battery on your mech. Still got that apple sitting on my tongue. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Here we go. Might just put a little bit more on there. And regret putting the lid back on. I'll tell you what, mind you, saying that, there's one thing kids aren't going to get into this bowl. I don't think some adults will, but kids won't get into it. <laughs> there we go. If you're a fan of Apple, you'd probably like this. No, you, you, you would like it, to be fair. I don't know why I said properly. <laughs> Oh wow! If you do get hold of this, whack the power up. Wow, that apple absolutely zings. It's just an instant apple. It's like an explosion in an orchard has happened in your mouth. Oh, I'm really celebrating quite badly now. That's really activating the taste buds. Mmm. So still no throat hit, just really good apple flavourings. Yeah, personal thumbs up for myself. That is Apple King from the Blackhead range. And I'll have a quick blowout and I shall move on to number two, which is Mango Tango. Another thing, I am impressed with this. That is absolutely clean as a button. There has been no gunk or crap left on my coils or my cotton. It should be basically standard now. Juices shouldn't leave you with crap. There shouldn't be any of this sucron or sweetener and all that other bollocks that gets put in some juices. Now, that lid came off quite well. Um, ooh. It's a double where there's a lot of mango. It was something that impressed me with the first range they did with their Vapors Unite range was the fruit flavour. There was a lot of flavour in the fruit. It went one of these wishy-washy ones that disappeared after a few seconds after the exhale had finished. The flavours do hang around. I'm going to leave that off actually because I might need to top up. All right, I'm going to go back down to 3.7. Yeah, we're back down to 72.2 watts. Alright, there's a slight cooling effect on this on the end. Mango to start off with, then this slight cooling effect comes in with it. Nice. It is nice. It's quite subtle. I was expecting more of a blast in the face for that one, but it's not. It's quite subdued in how it's been done. So it doesn't go, oh my god, I no I'm doing laser juice because there's a hell of a lot of culada stroke menthol in it. But no, there's not. It just comes in and works nicely with it. Um mm. Hang on, I'll just stop like that. The mango is very refreshing. There's another juicy one. And that little bit of cool mixing in with it. 
kind of gives a little bit of a mouth-watering fizz on the tongue towards the end, which I anticipate will go up as I go up if it's anything like the last juice. I'm going to go up to four. It really is a load of juice. Mmm. Well, I've gone back up to 84.1 or 4 volts. That slight coolant effect comes in quicker with this one, mixes it very well with the mango. Um, mm. It's just not a nice juice. It's another one that seems to sit like kind of at the back in the middle of the tongue. The mango kind of gets the also the ed edges of the tongue as well. Nom, 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 nom. But it's a really nice mango. Mm. Yeah, can't complain about that at all. Oh, I like mango. I was quite surprised. I didn't think that was going to be a flavour I liked. But over time, there's been some very good mangoes coming out. Um, this can be added to it, in my opinion. Once again, I've now gone up to 92.9 watts or 4.2 volts. Everything comes together. These juices adore power. They adore power with a passion. That mango is really coming out. It's still got that subtle couladry effect at the end. It's just a very refreshing, with a kind of cold sensation on the tongue afterwards. I'm impressed with that. Yeah, that's Devil Juices. That's number two from their Blackout range. Mango Tango. Um, It'll be one I'll probably definitely be getting into my rotation. No, I really like that. That's nice. All right, quick blowout, and I'll go on to the last one in this part, which is number three, which is the kiwi strawberry. Now that's another combination I've started to like. I can't remember which one it was. I had one that was watermelon, strawberry, and kiwi. And it was absolutely lush. So I'll be interested to see what these guys have done with it. Oh, come on. Open it. Thank you. As a general rule, I mean, in in real vaping life, I vapor free. Sometimes what I find with a zero is they've put the same amount of flavorings in for a zero as they have for a three or a six. They don't change them. And when you get a zero, I, I, sometimes I can't do them because the flavoring is just that much. It irritates the fruit. They've got this right here. They've actually adjusted the flavors according to the fact that there's no nick in it. It's something I wish more companies would do to be honest you can always tell the ones that have just gone hey we we'll just bang out a zero don't worry about the nick we'll just fill it up with the same amount of flavorings as we would have done no 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 you lower the flavorings down a little bit due to the fact that there's no nick in there which can move try uh, change the flavor and thankful to see that these guys have done this right we're gonna go back down to 3.7 and this is the kiwi strawberry Oh, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. No fruit hit. Cloud production, you can see it's done its job. Actually, it's done its job blooming well. Straight off the bat, you're getting that strawberry kiwi combination. And it kind of made a new fruit. It has made a new fruit. Because you just get the hint of that strawberry, then the kiwi adds an element to it. 
This totally changes the flavour in the mouth. It really does. Mm. It's a good strawberry. It's a good kiwi, and together they make their. It's a marriage made in heaven. They really are a lovely combination. Affects a lot of areas on the tongue as well. Little punches of kiwi. And the softer elements of the strawberry flavouring. Yeah, I could probably recommend that one to anyone. I can tell you already just from that, and this is just going at 3.7. I only woofed it up, which, like the other two, I'm anticipating is going to get just even better. That would instantly go into my all day rotation. Oh, that's really good. Oh, we've got to go up to four volts again. Yep, eighty-four point one watts. Getting a bit of a cold feel around here, so I'm not sure there's a little bit of coulard in this as well. If I'm not kind of getting the taste of it, I'm just getting on the lips. It might have been actually from the mango tango. It's just completely blended. That you don't recognise it as a strawberry kiwi anymore. It's a new fruit. It's a kiwi berry or strawberry. Maybe not the second one. Um, but it lasts for ages afterwards. The flavour, not. I'm still breathing out this combo fruit. Kind of catches the um, side of your mouth as well, and just mm, you can feel the saliva getting up. Your stomach's gone. I want food. That actually tastes quite good, what you've got in your mouth right now, and I want it. And it's getting a little bit disappointed. There's nothing really going down there. But the flavour in itself is gorgeous. I just got to check to see if this has got any coulard in it or not because I'm kind of thinking I'm getting it, but it's saying no. I just had a look, quick look at the description. It's saying no. It's also saying no to that mango, but it kind of tastes like there was a little bit. But this. It's such a refresh. This is what. This is the taste of summer. It's such a refreshing vape. All right, it's got up to four point two for this last part. That's ninety two point seven watts now. Wow. Wow. Yes. Once again, power hall juice. Oh. Separation of the flavours a bit, you now get a very strong strawberry, then it's joined in by a stronger kiwi. But there's a bit of separation out there, and kiwi is the exhale now. Kiwi is pure. That four, it was kind of the same going in as it was going out. It was a lovely combination of this new combo fruit. Now there's been more separation, the strawberry's coming out stronger. Push the kiwi more to the exhale, but that's coming out strong as well. Yeah. That is just an all-round summer treat. That is um, fully, fully happy with that one myself. That is blackout number three, kiwi strawberry. Well, that brings me into part one on this review on blackout from Devil's Juices. Uh, I'll be back very shortly with part two. If you have enjoyed what you've watched so far, please like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. And I shall be back really, really soon with some more reviews. See you later, people.